Welcome to another episode of The Collective Perspective. I'm here with Scott. We're talking about brand ambassador jobs and bartenders. My name is Scott Franklin. I'm the Northeast Regional for Angels Envy Bourbon Rye and Cash Strength. I've been in the industry in New York City and the Northeast for over 20 years now, actually. Got started with Marlboro back when there was a whole bar program for the old timers, don't remember that. Then I worked for Allied to Mech for five years. They had top brands in their categories, a lot of household names, mainstream brands. Got into craft for 10 years and then landed with Angels Envy about five years ago. Been amazing, we sell everything we have and we have the best ambassador team in the business. Let's get into it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So what do you guys look for when you're when hiring ambassadors? Very specific things. First off, you have to be a bartender, uh, preferably working at a great account, but that's not necessary as long as you are an active bartender. Even if one or two shifts, you're behind the bar, that qualifies. Uh, two, you have to really want to and have the drive to succeed on this side of the business. We only hire people that are and have no experience with ambassadorship. Uh, so we want them really green, so we can train them the way uh, the Angels MP program is without any kind of pre, pre knowledge about how the ambassador programs work. Really being on time, uh, that's everything when you're going to a staff tasting, when you're working with a distributor. These people are very busy. Um, you might have a whole team of people waiting for you if it's a staff tasting. So yeah. um, you have to really respect that and be on time. And what are you looking for, like, you know, at an interview? Is there something specific and intangible? Is it just all whiskey knowledge, or is it a little bit about themselves or what they do? Our interviews are basically a little bit about the job, whiskey art job. Kind of go through it again to make sure they know what they're signing up for. Yeah, it's a little bit about me and my background and what they will get out of um, you know working for us. Um, and really, it's about the whiskey knowledge. We kind of go through what they know about whiskey, what they know about Angel's Envy. It's always nice when we have somebody that's prepared with that knowledge. Our whiskey audience, though, uh, people that are coming on the interview, I should say, they are recommended through usually an existing whiskey audience. A lot of the times, usually 99% of the time, one whiskey guardian is so is the person that hires or refers the, the next whiskey guardian. So we're all word of mouth. We've never advertised for a whiskey guardian position. But what maybe is a dis disconnect that you see from a bartender going to a brand ambassador? Is there a big jump where they're like, oh, I didn't expect this? There's a six month learning curve minimum. The person that becomes a whiskey guardian, that's why I ask for your commitment right up front. It's one of the things I ask for because you're not going to really get what your job is as a whiskey artist until you get through six months. Then, um, and it's a lot of your own creativity that's involved, then you're really able to soar. Basically, really be prepared in the interview. What's the disconnect? Not knowing what they're getting into. Really, yeah. again, we take this very seriously. Um, there are conference calls. Don't come in two minutes late. Be on time to those. Um, again, everything's about being on time, I know. Yeah. But, uh, that's you to check paperwork. Um, if they don't submit their paperwork by the deadline, that's a hard deadline, they just won't get paid that month. So, um, you know, they'll get hurt as well for not being uh, on time with that. Uh, really just being professional, dressing the part, coming to the interview with a printed resume. I mean, I've seen both ways. I prefer with a printed resume, even if they've sent it. Uh, I'm one of the old school kind of thought, you know, <laughs> process. So I'm like, you know, dress up nice, bring a resume, um, dress the part. represent yourself. Yeah. Be ready to talk about yourself <clears throat> and also, um, you know, don't be nervous. What would you say to somebody before they go in? How do you, how would you try to get someone to not be nervous? When people interview for an Angel's Envy Whiskey Guardian, sometimes I ask them, have you interviewed for any other ambassador yeah. jobs? And 90% of the time the answer is no because they don't want any other ambassador job. They are already set on Angel's Envy. They've heard about the Whiskey Guardian program um, and they really want to work on it and get that experience. So um, I've had the most nervous person ever that I've ever seen on an interview and she did get the job. She's still an active Whiskey Guardian in New York. I won't name names. I've also had on the other side of things, well, someone say when I asked them what they like to do in their free time, they like to go home and watch TV. Uh, that was the same person that uh, we were talking about earlier that mentioned another brand when I asked them <laughs> what brand do they like. So, I mean, again, we have seen it so, all. So, in the, in the interview, you asked about what brand they like and they didn't mention. Well, they said another whiskey brand, so their favorite whiskey brand. Was Probably not a good idea. I know your program, I know a lot of your ambassadors, completely different people. Right. Is there one intangible really looking for this type of person. You can't teach passion, you can't train passion. Um, and so that's that's the one thing I'm always looking for, someone that can um, join our team. We have the whole team of really passionate people, not only about Angel's Envy, but a lot of other things. Um, you know, some people are passionate about sustainability. 
other people who are passionate about cigars, you know. Yeah. Um, having a, an interest in really um, having a lot of knowledge about that and, and using that in combination with Game Sunday is always great because we do a lot of charity events so you can use, you know, um, your, your love of sustainability. And that's really what makes the program so great is that they get to have that, that freedom of creativity and they're all interested in other different things and they all work about different types of great accounts. I mean, that kind of goes back to like not getting nervous. Is like you're not, you're not necessarily looking for the whiskey, whiskey expert right away, but somebody that has a personality. I say it all the time, it's a relationship business. Yeah. I mean, that's all we do. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world. The president of our company always jokes, this business is run by C-plus students. As long as you know how to have a relationship with people, really be able to um, spend time yeah. within the accounts by yourself. It's yeah. sometimes hard. It's a lot of untapped entrepreneurs that the, the, these bartenders are. And, and uh, you know, so the program that you're doing is super, super awesome, man. And like I said, we just want to try to connect the dots. I think sometimes, you know, bartenders are trying to make that leap. They're like, I've studied, you know, bourbon for the last three years, and that's only like 7%. And that's awesome, though. And we love when we get whiskey artists that are presidents of their local bar chapters. Mm -hmm. I've had several. Um, or, you know, working at a Dead Rabbit, for example, is amazing. And we have a whiskey artist that worked there. And that's the beauty of the whiskey artist program. There's a lot of creativity part of the program, so that lends itself to creating yeah. unique creative experiences for their guests at these yeah. events. Cool, man. That's it. I just, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, thank American Whiskey for letting us just kind of crash. You, American Whiskey. The party. I love uh, you guys so Angels much. Angels Envy. And uh, appreciate it, man. Cheers you. to Cheers. you and your success. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.